If you haven't at least completed the tutorial in Pokemon TCG Live yet, make sure you do that before March 29th. If you do, you'll receive the Arceus V-Star World Championship deck for free at Tier 0 of the Global Beta Basic Battle Pass. Thankfully, standard format rotation this year doesn't hurt Arceus V-Star too much. However, with the meta shifting, you will want to make some changes to improve your chances against the new top decks come April. I'm going to try to keep the deck as close to the original as possible to keep the cost down, which means Arceus V-Star and Flying Pikachu both remain. Unfortunately, Hisui and Decidueye V-Star is completely removed. It was a great choice back at Worlds to deal with other Arceus decks and Miltank, but there will be much bigger Pokemon to fry come April. Based on early tournament results from Japan, the top 4 decks post-rotation will be Lost Box, Gardevoir EX, Mew VMAX, and Lugia V-Star. Flying Pikachu VMAX can be a good way to handle Lugia V-Star, you just have to make sure Dunsparce isn't in play. The added benefit of Pikachu is that it can't be damaged by basic Pokemon the following turn, so either your opponent has to use Escape Rope, Boss's Order, Serena, or attack with an Evolution. The meta is shifting towards Evolutions though, so a Raikou V for 750 credits might end up being a better idea to deal with Lugia post-rotation. But since the Pikachu are free, stick with them for now. For both Mew VMAX and Gardevoir EX, you'll want two copies of Drapion V at 750 credits each. Drapion V can not only one-shot a Mew VMAX thanks to weakness, but it can also attack for free, provided they have enough Fusion Strike Pokemon in play. You do have to be careful about Path to the Peak though, which shuts off Drapion's ability, and Lost City, which can send Drapion to the Lost Zone. But even if Path to the Peak is in play, with the right strategy, you can load up a Drapion with 4 energy. And that just so happens to be how you'll deal with Gardevoir EX. Gardevoir also has a Dark Weakness, which means Drapion can one-shot it. It just won't be as easy as KOing a Mew VMAX, so keep that in mind. Against Lost Box, you have to be a bit more creative. They have a lot more tools at their disposal, so relying on Charon's Care is a good strategy. Same with Judge. Forcing your opponent to use Comfy to draw cards late in the game can run them out of precious resources, hopefully giving you an opening. If you're willing to spend some more credits, there are more ways to deal with Lost Box. Because Arceus V-Star can accelerate energy from your deck to any Pokemon on your side of the field, it opens up several combinations. As much as I loathe Espeon VMAX, it might be a good idea here. Lost Box likes to use Sableye to spread damage counters and set up knockouts. Espeon blocks all effects of attacks against your Pokemon with energy attached, which means Sableye's Lost Mind does nothing. Additionally, Giratina's V-Star attack becomes useless since it's an effect of an attack, not damage. And because Lost Box is using Beach Court post-rotation, not Path to the Peak, odds are your Espeon's ability won't ever be shut off. Regardless of which build you end up using, if you're having trouble getting your VMAX Pokemon into play, a fun option is Radiant Eternatus. The loss of Scoop Up Net means you'll have to play Thornton or Penny to prevent it from being a wasted bench bot. But if you can use it properly early in the game, you can put any two of your VMAX Pokemon into play, completely skipping the need for the V. The rest of the deck is fairly straightforward. Barrel helps you draw cards turn after turn, Luminion V can get you any supporter when you slap it down on the field, and Pumpkaboo can bump a path to the peak that may be preventing you from using an ability. You also play one copy of Lost Vacuum, just in case you need to bump more than one stadium. For supporters, it's a little all over the place. Judge keeps your opponent's hand count low while not hurting you in return because of Barrel. Melanie can help you attack with a fresh Arceus V-Star out of nowhere, same with Raihan. Thornton can swap out any basic Pokemon on your side of the field with a basic in your discard pile, and Charon's Care can put a damaged Arceus V-Star back into your hand, hopefully denying your opponent some prize cards. Other options for Arceus V-Star include V-Guard Energy and Lake Acuity. With the loss of Big Charm, Arceus needs a little help surviving a big hit. V-Guard Energy lessens the damage by 30 from an opponent's V Pokemon, while Lake Acuity lessens the damage you take by 20, provided you have a Water or Fighting Energy attached to that Pokemon. You could also swap out the Radiant Greninja for a Radiant Gardevoir, further reducing the damage you take from Pokemon V. And if you find yourself going up against a lot of fighting decks, chuck in a Dunsparce to keep your Arceus safe. As for Miltank, which this deck has no answer to aside from stalling with Pikachu VMAX or flipping with Barrel's Tail Smash, you could include Cancelling Cologne. It can be useful in a few other situations when it comes to something like Klefki, but Miltank is probably the ability you'll be swapping the most. Or you could include your own Miltank or something, whichever you think is best. Based on what I've seen from Japanese tournament results, Arceus V-Star is likely going to be Tier 3 post-rotation. 
I mostly saw it paired with Duraludon VMAX, which still appears to be a decent choice given that it's immune to damage from Pokemon with special energy attached. And there's also people who put it with Giratina V-Star, which can deal 200 any damage, but you have to put energy into the Lost Zone. There's also this build with Curlia that's done okay in Japan. You can use Buddy Catch Delayed to get any supporter you want turn after turn, allowing you to loop Charon's Care. And you can even attack with the other Delayed's Dynablade, which does 60 damage for each V Pokemon your opponent has in play. So while it only takes 3600 credits to turn the free version of Arceus V-Star into a somewhat competitive 2023 deck, you should plan on spending a few thousand extra credits on cards like Duraludon VMAX, Giratina V-Star, Raikou V, or maybe Espeon VMAX, which will help your matchups against other decks. Every VMAX and V-Star costs 1025 credits each to craft in live, so make sure you use those credits wisely. If you're planning on running Arceus V-Star after rotation hits on March 30th, let everyone know in the comments if you have any spicy ideas to make it great.